All right, I'm going to sample this core from Rocky Hill School. It's going to be a three inch vibe. Uh, the OE, OISE stopped at 22 inches. That's going to be my 22 inch, or uh, 22 centimeter mark. And then the mineral uh, down to here. Uh, it's going to be your series of A horizons. Lucky. Uh, and then our C begins here. So I'm going to get a uh, bag each. Um, section and then measure the length in centimeters so we know the volume. Alright, so put that there. Alright, so the OISE on the form ended at 22 centimeters. So I'm going to go at 22 right there. So this is going to be 10 to 22 centimeters. I'm going to cut that and then put it in the back. Three-inch diameter, ten to twenty-two. Bag that. Still frozen. All right. A. SE1 in a sulfide odor 22 to 55. modify that to um, do it at 22 to 63 uh, is going to be the thickness of my A horizons. It's still uh, got some organics in there. So the first one will be let's go get a 10 centimeter sample. It's going to be right there. Before I get that, I'm going to write it down on the bag. A little bit of O on there, but pretty much it's a lot heavier. Probably a mucky sandy loam or silt loam. This is the Matunic from Rocky Hill. The C uh, horizons, uh, let's see, 62 to 72, 72 to 82, 82 to 92, and then there was six centimeters left, which I did not bag, but it's basically this material. Looks like a, almost like a Windsor type of sand. 
Um, there was quite a bit of gravel in the upper part of the sea, upwards of 15%. Um, all of the cores uh, were frozen, so that made it a lot easier to uh, cut them and yank them out. All right, done.